Today I'm going to show you how to release the Peck Miner. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to release the Peck Miner. To begin, the pec minor is kind of a weird muscle because it's underneath the pec major, which is the bulk of uh, you know the musculature on the front of your chest here. Okay, this big bulky muscle right here, this is the pec major. The pec minor is a very small muscle. Okay, it runs vertically from right up here down to here like that, okay? And it's underneath the pec major, like I said. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, and because of that, it makes it sort of hard to uh, get into this muscle. However, with that being said, it is very important, again, like a lot of these uh, you know, release techniques that I've been showing you lately, to keep this muscle supple and to keep it functioning properly because the pec minor is a respiratory muscle for one thing. It really, uh, it, it assists in breathing. It also, when it becomes very, very tight, it can really torque on your shoulders, pull them forward into anterior rotation like this. It's really hard to have an open chest and have good posture if your pec minor is tight. You can release the pec major all you want, um, but if you're not getting into those pec minor muscle fibers, then you're really leaving a lot of tightness on the table, um, so to speak, because you've only really addressed one of the um, you know, pec muscles of the chest. And like I said, pec minor is crucial in contributing to that anterior rotation of the shoulder. Now, if you're having a hard time visualizing this muscle, then go ahead and pause this video and Google search pec minor. I don't include a lot of images in my videos here because I don't want to infringe on anybody's like copyrights and get my you know YouTube channel taken down. Um, so just Google image search pec minor if you don't know what I'm talking about. Here are a couple techniques that you can use to release it. So my absolute favorite way to release the pec minor is to use a theracane. Um, now I understand some of you may not have these, so I'll show additional techniques that you don't need uh, to use this for. Um, but this is my favorite um, technique to release the pec minor. And if you don't have one of these, you can pick one up on my website. I'll include a link in the description down below. But basically, um, with this, the best way to release the pec minor is, first of all, to know where the pec minor is. Again, it runs from like right here down here like this. Okay, it's like off to the side sort of. You're probably going to need to Google image search it. But once you know where it is, you grab the theracane like this. So you put your one hand on the hook itself, grab the bottom, and we're going to use this point right here to dig in there. This is a really good position of leverage that really allows you to like kind of torque in there really hard. But you start up high here and you gotta know where this muscle is. I can't emphasize that enough. So it's like right in here, okay? Pull in, push down, and now I'm just gonna, this is called shearing force when you're running the, actually this is called stripping, sorry. But we're running the length of the muscle here. Um, and this is basically how you do it with the Theracane. I really like the Theracane. Um, because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to essentially come up from underneath the pec major, come in from like the side here, kind of moving the pec uh, major out of the way and then coming straight down. So I'm like pushing it out of the way and then pushing straight in a little bit um, just to try to get access to more of the pec minor muscle fibers. Another thing you can do is you can just come straight in right on top of the pec minor, but realize that if you don't do this technique where you're trying to come in from the side, push the pec major out of the way and then come in, you're going to be smashing on top of the pec major. You can still get release in the pec minor by pushing, putting a lot of pressure right on the pec major over the pec minor, um, but you're not going to get as profound a release. Um, as you would if you were able to get right into the pec minor. So I would recommend using the Theracane, come off to the side, kind of push the, push the pec major away, and then start applying pressure directly underneath it, if that makes sense. Basically what we're trying to do, push this out of the way and then push right in to get access to those muscle fibers. Um, again, you can come right on top of it. If you don't have this, I can show you a technique with a lacrosse ball or a softball um, but honestly, if I didn't have a Theracane, my second uh, you know, choice would be my hand. And to do it with the hand, you basically want to do exactly what I just showed you with the Theracane. You take your hand, kind of move the pec major out of the way a little bit, pull some slack in there maybe with your palm, then use your fingers to apply that downward pressure 
right, into that muscle, right? For a lot of people, this muscle doesn't even feel like a muscle, <laughs> you know, at this point when you're doing this exercise, especially if you Google, if you uh, search this in YouTube, and that's how you found this video. It's probably gonna feel so tight, it's gonna feel ridiculous. Um, and it's gonna be very, very painful. But I would rececommend doing all of these techniques if you have tight pecs and you're really trying to release your pec minors, um, doing this for at least, you know, two to three minutes on each pec. But that's another good way to do it, kind of pull that pec out of the way with the palm and then use the fingers to kind of dig straight down. It's crucial, really crucial that you know where this muscle is because I can just kind of describe this process to you, but if you don't know where you're supposed to be and what you're targeting, then it's just really not gonna work. So that's one, that's another way to do it. And uh, you know, the final way to do it would be to use a ball. This is my least favorite way to do it. This is good for hitting the pec major, um, but it's really hard to move the pec minor or the pec major out of the way, just like what we did with those first two techniques um, with this technique. So you're kind of just gonna be smashing mostly into the pec major with this, but you can go over the pec major right on top of the pec minor too. But basically, just put it down on the ground, get right on top of the pec uh, minor, cross your arm behind your back, and kind of put all of your weight into that um, ball, okay? And you kind of just move around here, oscillate around. That's another way to do it. So, preferably, the best way to do it is to use a Theracane, but if you don't have one, second best option is your hand and then a lacrosse ball. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, once you really start hammering the pec minor, I think that if you're, if you're tight there, you're gonna feel a huge difference in terms of the openness of your shoulders and of just the general feelings that you have in your chest. Uh, a lot of people walk around with a lot of chronic tightness in their pecs and they don't even realize it um, until they've actually had contrast by releasing it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right over here. Also check out my Facebook and Instagram. I'll include links to both of those things in the description down below. Lastly, if you want me to be your coach, if you want me to analyze your posture, take you through a movement assessment, as well as a static postural assessment to identify your muscular imbalances and your movement pattern deviations um, so that I can put together a corrective exercise protocol specific to you, then go ahead and open up the description down below and hit coaching. Other than that, I'll see you next time.